Are you ready to make your brand well known? In this video, I'll show you how to do that by using social media. Just keep watching. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with The Wild Humphrey and welcome to another episode of Failure is Knowledge. Here at Failure is Knowledge, we speak about growth and how we're becoming the best version of ourselves. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, subscribe and wait towards the end and leave a comment because today we're speaking about branding and what it is. See, we have to learn what it is in order to keep working towards it. See, the definition of branding is branding the process of creating a unique and memorable identity for your business or personal brand. It involves things like your company name, logo and about the impressions you want people to have about you it is so important to understand that branding happens it's happening even when we don't think it's being created see learning what branding is gives us the understanding that we have to continue to work on ourselves if we continue to evolve and grow we become aware of the type of branding or impression that we would like to leave on other people see when other people brand us we lose our power because we're not comfortable with ourselves. One person that I learned this from was, was Martin Luther King Jr. The fact that he graduated school at 15 years old, he was well aware of himself and he understood the, what, what branding was. He knew he wanted to be a, a, a successor. He knew he wanted to accomplish things because he put his mind to it. See, Martin Luther King is known for the greatest speech ever. I have a dream. Yeah, a lot of people don't know the one about what's your life's blueprint. See, this one is my favorite is because he explains if you're going to be the, the, the if you if you're going to be a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper. If you're going to be a, a, a maintenance man, be the best maintenance man. If you're going to be a land Scape keeper be the best landscape keeper see the, the what the life blueprint was saying was that you have to brand yourself as you're working on who you are and as you're working on who you are it constantly grows it constantly develops and it, and it constantly evolves because we don't stay the same we always change it see what's your life blueprint is understanding that we all have a a, 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 a blueprint to follow. We all have a path that's in front of us, but how are we discovering the blueprint? The blueprint get created when we learn more about ourselves. Martin Luther King was special. He was special because he understood himself. And even though he understood himself, he wasn't, he wasn't comfortable not changing. He wasn't comfortable not growing. He wasn't comfortable not accomplishing things. The thing that we have to learn is that we're being branded when we're being branded and let regardless of if we are aware, we're aware of it or not. Because people judge people. And as people are judging people, we lose the control of how we would like to be known and what type of oppression we would like to leave. See, Martin Luther King knew he wanted to have an impression on people to say not only was he a great communicator, but he was, a, a, he was the best communicator because he understood his blueprint. What's your life's blueprint? In the comments below, leave... Comment below, what's your life blueprint and what you are working towards? You can't be afraid to work towards yourself because yourself has to be branded. We all have to learn what branding is. It's, a, it's, a, it's an impression that gets left on other people. We impression, we, we are improving ourselves because we want to be known for something. We want to be known for the best thing rather than just the thing because we are in control of it. We are in control of it. Furthermore, Martin Luther King knew that the power came from him being self-aware. You have to be self-aware yourself. You have to learn why it's important to know that Brandon can be improved. Mind you, he graduated at the age of 15, right? So he wasn't comfortable with that. Once he graduated, he went off to college. And once he went off to college, he went to Morehouse and got his master's degree. If I'm, his, got his degree. He got his degree, and once he got his degree, he understood that 
There's more to be accomplished. There's more that, that I can do. Yes, I can be the best student, but there's more than just being the best student. Right. Because we have to constantly change. We have to change to our to our environment. So our environment doesn't change us. Martin Luther King had the control within himself because he understood how aware of him he was. Learning this, learning what your blueprint is, is so important because your blueprint is the type of branding that's being created when you're understanding why it's being created this way. See, Martin Luther King, he was a, a, a he was a minister. He was a, he was ministering people to help people believe in themselves. See, what I didn't recognize when I was younger was that he was helping people believe in themselves and to say that you matter more than you more than you think. And when you matter more than you think and you believe and you feel it and you understand it, you're improving because as you're improving, you're not comfortable no more. Comfortability stops our growth and comfortability stops us from branding and controlling the impressions that we would like to give out to other people. It's not the fact that it's impossible. It's the matter of fact that it's possible if we're willing to try, if we're willing to change, if we're willing to learn. Martin Luther King was one that studied himself. Was the, Martin Luther King was one that studied himself and his craft and people. And he continued to brand himself every single day. Every single day, Martin Luther King was there branding himself and improving everything that he was doing. Why? Because in order to be the best, you have to learn what the best is. Martin Luther King knew that there was the best. He, he was becoming the best because every day he learned more about himself. And it's so important to recognize that your branding can be improved once you start with yourself and control the impression that you would like to give to other people. Other people are going to judge you regardless of the fact because we all judge. We all judge. But it's understanding why you're being judged. Martin Luther King knew he was judged. Martin Luther King knew that he was better than what he thought. Martin Luther King knew that he was aware of himself, but just because he was aware doesn't mean everybody else can. And his mission was to help people come together as one. He's known for his greatest speech. I have a dream speech for us to come together as one. Yet the, yet the life blueprint, what shall I blueprint was so important because he spoke it to, he, he, he delivered this speech to a group of college students that was finding their blueprint. See, learning how to be the best, we have to learn what the best is. The best is us doing our best every single day. Learning this is understanding that it takes time to grow and it also takes a, a, a choice to be made when we learn that it's okay not to be great. It's okay to keep practicing your craft and learn and how to how to be yourself. What's your life blueprint speaks about that topic on if you're going to be something and be the best something, because if you're not the best something, you don't believe in yourself. That's what Martin Luther King was going around the world speaking about in different messages, different stories and different ways was to believe in yourself. But as you're believing yourself, have a blueprint with you, have a blueprint that you want to follow in order to believe in yourself. Yourself needs to be believed in because you are the only one that has the power of changing, of becoming the best, of learning more about your blueprint. See, branding is the blueprint. Branding is saying the blueprints being created from this action that I'm taking today. And I'm learning that it, it, it takes time. Branding takes time. Knowing yourself takes time. Finding yourself takes time. Notice how everything comes together because it all takes time. That's when I learned that it's so important to identify your dream audience, your dream people that you like to be around because as you're working on yourself, who do you want to help? Who do you, who would you like to help? See, identify your dream audience, your dream group, your dream people, your dream friends helps you create the impression on your mind. So your mind is already made up. And once you get around other people, people see how impressed. People are impressed by the amount of awareness you have within yourself.
See, knowing the people that you want to be around and help is so important because everybody, everybody can be helped, but everybody's not going to be helped by you. Why? Because your blueprint is going on a different path. Your blueprint is not going to be able to help everybody that you come in, count, in, in contact with and in, in communication with because you are focused on learning how to be the best so you can help other people be the best. Why? Because your blueprint matter. And as your blueprint matter, it's helping you identify your path. It's helping you identify the people that can not only listen to what you're saying, but actually understand what he say, he or she is saying is so important because it is helping me find myself. See, we have to be comfortable finding ourselves and becoming aware of ourselves so we can be OK with delivering that help that people need. Martin Luther King knew that us as people needed to help because we needed to come together as one. We needed to find our blueprint for ourselves. And the only way for us to find our, ourselves was for him to go around the world speaking and empowering the people of the, of the world. Why? Because it's so important. It's so important to identify that. Martin Luther King understood at a young age that he was destined for more. He believed he was more because he was the best him. He was the best him. And not only did he believe that he Showed that because that's the impression that he wanted to create around the world. What's your life's blueprint? You have to create your blueprint. And if and as you're creating it, be the best. Believe you can be the best because the best is in you. Martin Luther King knew he needed to improve so the best can be shown and impressed by other people. Why? Because he understood his audience. He understood the people and the message that he was delivering. And as he's delivering this message, he's helping so many people find their blueprint. The blueprint is so important because the blueprint helps you be the best you. So as you are becoming the best, your people, the, the people that surround you, your dream audience, you're able to help them because you help yourself at first. Martin Luther King was special. He was special because he, he never stopped working on himself. What's your life blueprint? The next point I want to hit on is building a content calendar for yourself. See, one thing that Martin Luther King was, he was organized. He, he, he followed the plan and the plan came out to the blueprint because as you're putting in the location of the GPS, you can only go one way. Yes, you're going to have bumps and turns and, and, and hills and valleys and, and roads that you know are not expected. But the path, the blueprint is laid and you're following the directions to get to your best self. Martin Luther King knew that it took time. Yet Martin Luther King wasn't satisfied with what he has already accomplished. There was, there's more to be accomplished. There's more to be achieved. There's more to be the best at because we have to focus on being the best that we can be. See, the reason why being organized and having a plan behind your blueprint is so important because as you're making and branding yourself, you have to brand yourself strategically in a way where people are seeing what you would like to put out. Strategically is saying you're doing something with a purpose. You're being the best you with purpose. You're not just not just you. You the you're you are becoming the best you because the best you is what's getting worked on every single day. See, branding has to be understood. There's a reason behind everything, and as that reason is being presented, how are we focusing on ourselves? How are we growing? How are we changing? How are we discovering our blueprint? The blueprint is always in us. We just forget about it because life is tough. And as life get tough, we don't know how to handle it because we stop thinking that we're the best. You have to be the best for yourself because as you believe in that you are, life is going to hit you and it's going to knock you down. But you better get back up because you believe so much. You believe in your blueprint. You believe in your plan. You believe in everything that you're doing because you're branding yourself to get back up when life gets tough. Notice how Martin Luther King went through tough times. And even though the tough times was there separating us, he found a way to bring us together because he believed there was more. He believed that he was the best him that he could be. So why can't we be the best that we can be? Because we, we lack the belief.
We lack the belief because we're not following the plan that can help us be strategic. Help us have a way of doing things. Help us have a, a way of being the best us. Now, having a thought is different than doing the thought because we have to act on our thoughts. Martin Luther King acted on his thoughts, which impressed many people. Why? Because he understood what Brandon was because he was working on himself. He was evolving. He was learning. He was okay with being himself and whoever didn't like him. Did not have to be around him because he was comfortable with himself, not his situation. He changed his situation because he changed himself, because he kept evolving. That's what we have to do in life. That's what we have to do for ourselves. We have to follow a blueprint in order to create the, a plan for what we would like to follow and, and, and create and be around because the plan don't always go as planned. However, at least you have a plan, right? Because when you have a plan, when you're following a, a, a organized strategy, you're becoming aware of what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it. Because you're no longer wasting time. You're no longer wasting time. You're no longer wasting believing in, in, in energy. You're no longer doubting yourself because you are aware of everything that you're doing. Your plan is so important. Your plan has to be made. And even if it get, 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 get confusing, your plan is planned which is going to help you discover your life's blueprint. Branding has to be discovered because it's, the, it's helping you learn about the plan that you need to follow in order to be the best you. The best you only comes out when we understand that it takes time and we put effort into ourselves. See, understanding the plan helps us create different topics, different videos from this for this plan. Martin Luther King just didn't talk about, I have a dream. Martin Luther King has multiple speeches that he's spoken about. And as he's spoken about them, it, 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 it was a different message, yet the same impression. Because of what he knew, because of the audience was different from, I have a dream speech versus what's your life's blueprint. We have to learn who our audience is, back to dream audience. We have to learn who the people are in front of us in order to create the message that's going to help them be the best them. Help them understand what we are presenting because as we are presenting something different, something new, something they, that has never been heard before, we have to be able to identify the people that we are speaking to. Because we have to learn who's in front of us. And as we're learning who's in front of us, we can create the videos, the content, the message around the people so they can understand what we're saying. Martin Luther King understood the message needs to be different so the message can be understood. Why? Because everybody don't understand or nor, nor come from the same place, nor understand or learn more that you have. But to identify the message and change it up in a way where other and everybody can understand it. It takes skill. It takes practice and it takes time. It takes time because you have to be comfortable with understanding the type of message that you would like to create. Branding helps you create the message that will help other people understand what you would like to present. Martin Luther King crafted his message differently for every time he spoke. Why? Because it's important to connect with the people that's in front of you. That's when I understood to become the best you, you have to keep learning to be the best you. That's why it's so important. Martin Luther King is a great example of never be satisfied with what you have. Only accomplish, only chase what you know you can achieve. Think big. There is a book. Think of the, the art of the deal. There's a book by Donald Trump. The art of the deal. If you're going to think big, if you're going to think, you might as well think big anyways. We have to be okay with thinking more than we can see. 
At the age of 15, Martin Luther King knew that he was going to be bigger, but he didn't know he was going to be that bigger. He didn't know he was going to leave that many impressions because of he was aware of himself, because of the blueprint that he was following. And as he was following, he learned the, the power of consistency of showing up every single day. So your blueprint only gets accomplished and chased and directed once we show up every single day. Life is going to be hard, and as it's difficult to learn, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop happening. It's not going to stop being presented. And as it's being presented, what are we doing for ourselves? We have to become the best you. We have to focus on becoming the best me. We have to focus on becoming the best us because of how important your blueprint is to everyone that's around you. How important your path is to everybody that you come in contact and communication with. Why? Because your blueprint is so important. As your blueprint gets discovered, there's a reason, there's a, a way of branding yourself so you can be remembered. Remember back in the, in, in the beginning of the video, branding has to be remembered. It has to be me remembered and leave an impression on others. It can only be left when we learn more about ourselves. It can only be felt when we learn and identify who we are. It can only be recognized when we recognize it within ourselves. See, branding is leaving the impression with ourselves first, and as we leave leaving the impressions, what do we think of ourselves? How are we thinking of ourselves? What do we need to change? And how can we start chasing our blueprint? How can we start chasing our life's blueprint? Martin Luther King was a chaser because he chased his dreams. He chased everything that he wanted to accomplish. And as he accomplished these things, these obstacles, these, this journey, he's showing everybody the power of belief and hard work. Nothing's going to come to you easily. Nothing's going to be given to you easily because of you have to do it for yourself. You have to show up for yourself every single day. You have to be okay with the process because the process only rewards people that do it every single day. Does it take time? Yes, but time is the only thing that we have. Time is on our side when we learn more about ourselves. That's why understanding why branding is so important because to brand yourself is to know who you are. To brand yourself is to identify your life's blueprint. To brand yourself is to use the time that you have in order to learn to grow into yourself. You have to be comfortable with growing into yourself because the way you grow matters because of the effort that you put into yourself. And as you're putting this effort into yourself, you have to be okay with identifying what type of branding you would like to be, what type of blueprint you would like to be, what type of the best you would like to be the best there. Because when you focus on you, you become the best you. And whatever you do, it's only your life's blueprint. Now, as it's your life's blueprint, leave in the comment. On a path that you're going to be chasing for yourself and how you're going to accomplish everything that you have put your mind to and why it's important to keep chasing it. We have to learn your life's blueprint. Martin Luther King taught us your life's, your life's blueprint matter because it's, it, it, it should only matter to you because everybody else doesn't. It, 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 Martin Luther King showed us and explained to us why your life's blueprint mattered because he was an example of the blueprint that he was accomplishing with, for himself. That's why it's so important. Branding is leaving an impression on others rather than others creating impression about you. It's so important to recognize it. If you enjoyed this video, click this video right here to watch more videos on how to personally develop within yourself.